Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to a new video, you golf life yeah. legends. Uh, we are down here at the Leatherhead Club and this is going to be massive because this is Zane Scotland versus Jimmy Bullard. Oh, I can't wait for this. Thanks How for are your time, boys? lad. Hello. Thanks Thank for having you. us. Thanks for having us. Mate, and oh, uh, geez, I've got to say the Leatherhead Club is looking absolutely magmotional. Loads of work's going on. Um, everything's happening and then also, Something else is happening soon because you're opening a golf academy. We right? are, yeah, we're, we're opening a, a performance academy essentially. Yeah. But yeah, like we're just—it's the first time we've had a chance to go in from scratch. And James and Scott said to us, "What do you want to do? What do you want to put here? What, how would you do it?" And we can like, yeah, we'll do this and this, and they're like, "Yeah, bang, let's do it." So like, it's exciting for us. It's a bit, you know, it's, it's new in the UK because most clubs you go to, you know, they've done certain things for a certain amount of time. Yeah. Whereas here, it's like a blank canvas. So. And when you say use, who's that? Include uh, myself yeah. and then uh, Josh, Josh yeah. White, who oh, nice. I need to get him on there. Yeah, absolutely. Hit some 320 yard drives. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah. He's, he's filthy point. long, isn't it? Yeah, and then we've got, got a couple other coaches, Billy Irvine, uh, Giles Gill. So, uh, yeah, I I love love it. It. so we're going to put a team in. But yeah, essentially, it's just going to be we're going to have everything. We're going to have like, Go the track man, track man range, oh, have four track man simulators wow. going in, all the gear. Well, I know where I'll be coming for a few lessons. Exactly, down the Leverhead Club. Right, so basically, it's you two, nine old match. I'm, I'm on the Zoomy Pat. Are you on cameras today? I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm out of it. I'm letting the big is boys this, play. Is this the first 1v1 we've ever had? Well, you've got big matches coming up. You've got I know, it's a good little matches. bit of practice, yeah, no, you're actually. The pro, I'm going to so. pepper him. I'm, I'm interested in Zane's game as well. So. Exactly. Cool. Well, well, good luck. You shoot. Good luck. See you later. Zoomy Pat will go to the cameras. See you later. And how are we doing this then? What are we going to do? <sighs> yeah, do, do nine holes. Nine holes match play. Simple. Happy with that, yeah. Done. First one, one's off a big number. First hole at Leverhead Club. 445 yards, Zane, yeah? That's it. Par five, short par five. Straight down wind, let's let her fly, eh? Good luck, Zaney boy. Play well, mate, play well. Not too well. I'm feeling a bit here. Yeah? Oh, here he is. Here he is. Done that before, haven't you? Straight down there, innit? Yeah, nice, Good. mate. Cheers, mate. Very nice. Jimmy, you set the bar there. There's a little lemonade down there, so I think it's a bit more out the left. Am I? Play that screws. Yeah, you really put me under it here. Yeah? yeah, it's nice, isn't it? What a geezer. Beauty. Shot, mate. All right, okay. All right, cool. We've got 158 yards. I'm a little bit disappointed as Jimmy's blown it 20 yards past me. It does happen from time to time. Anyway, putting all that behind me. Tiny bit down mainly out the left and it's a little bit down the hill so I'm going to try and start it just inside that left trap and just let the wind do its work. I'm not going to try and do anything funny with it. I've got eight iron. I'm going to have to give it a little bit. Oh, I've drawn it. Go! Go! Oh, it's from the bunker. <laughs> Struggling here. 143 yards. A bit of nine iron. Didn't move yours that wind, did it? No, I did draw it onto it, did to be you? honest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Coming in. Didn't go very far. I like this. I like this. Oh no, Jimbo, what is that? <laughs> wow, Zane. <laughs> wow. That's not like you. I've been in. I <laughs> <laughs> wondered why I was 10, 20 past Zane. Is I'm taking this channel so seriously, I've turned the garage into a gym. <laughs> That's how big time I've gone. That's it, yeah. You've I've changed. Got, I've got all, You've changed. I've got all my fishing rods out and put all my golf clubs <laughs> back in and um, I'm gymmed up. So yeah, a bit of core work going on. But I've got to say, that was terrible. Fin nine iron. Anyway. Right, while we're in the bunker, Zane. Go on then. Any tips? Hit the sand first. Yeah. That's the main one. I mean, I always think you want to bury your feet in yeah. as much as you want to go underneath the ball. Gotcha. So say if you want to go two inches underneath the, underneath the ball, yeah. bury your feet in two inches. Okay. That's Anything what around impact, you like, you know, they talk about this a lot, don't they? Yeah, I mean, the, the other part, I would always like, like good, for good bunker players, get the club up and out of the sand okay. really well. Bad bunker players, like, leave it leave in. Leave it in. So yeah, like, okay. don't worry about flick, almost like, you know, yeah, feel like letting you the right hand, Past the left. Like it. Shot. Thank you. Shot, mate. 
Oh, little bouncer there. Won't it? Little bouncer. It's all about the pace, it's all about the pace. Good, 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 good. Oh my god! Great pup, mate. Zany boy. That would have been hell of a drainer, wouldn't it? Mate, you can you can have that. Cheers. How's you really good from there? How'd you want it, mate? Out, please. If you will. Go on for bird. Jim, are you still do aim pointing? I am, mate. Roughly, I've got my own. Yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. I've, do you know what? It's just a good, I think it's just a good way of get making sure you make an exact decision. Yeah. You know, sometimes you get over a part and you think is it, it's a bit left. Yeah. I'll get and you get over it and you kind of as you're choking, you're thinking, 100%. is it a bit left or is it left edge? Whereas it just makes you go, oh, that's my line. Here's one for you then. Use your aim point with your feet. Yeah. But then, do you sometimes try and recorrect yourself with your eyes? Do you still look at it or not? I think it's important. I do the pick the number with your feet. Like yes. one, two, three. Yeah. And then have to like really concentrate, making sure you then pick your point. But then. But then switch that off and see see the line. Okay. So you go back to being a bit of an artist again. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. Rather than a mathematician. That's exactly what I if do. That makes sense. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So it ain't just solely on feet. You've still got a bit of a picture, haven't you? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. Like there we go. One up, Scott. Have any legacies? Talk to me. I thought he's a Cavity. blade man. Yeah, I know, mate. I know. Um, I've even got a seven wood in at the moment. Can you believe Have it? You? Well, that, a lot of the boys are going to seven yeah. woods, aren't they? Yeah, it is a bit of a thing. Yeah, but cavities. Come on, talk to me. What, first of all, what is it like going from a blade to a cavity? You know what? It must have been like shovels, right? I mean, these ones have a thinish top line. Yeah, they're nice. Not yeah, too yeah, much yeah. offset. Yeah, yeah. But it's just nice. Using blades, you get away with nothing. And I think when you're practicing every day, yeah. hitting balls, you're not using much other than the middle of the cover face. But if you're not, you know, you're going to be a tiny bit off. And I'm not, I get it on, I'm not, no, it's on par threes. Yeah, what we're on now. Every now and again, just hit a shot, and in your head, straight away, you're like, oh, I didn't catch that. Okay. And so, you're in your, so then you're, you're thinking that's going to drop in the bunker, short. Yeah. And it was like, just carry. And you're like, why have I been making it so half myself yeah. all this time? But it's a bit of an ego thing, isn't it? It's like, oh, a blade, little bit. Look, blade look cool and, and all that sort of stuff. But, you know, if, if you're playing every day, fine. But if you're not, why would you not have something a little bit mm. easier to hit? Have you seen a lot on track? You, you know, you, you're all over track, man. Have you seen yeah. the difference in if you slightly miss it one yardage or do you just visually go off, hang on, that, is, that wouldn't have got there if that yeah, blade is Yeah, it's a bit of both. But the main thing is like, it's like the ball speed. Right. So let's say my, my uh, six iron ball speed is like, say it's, say it's 130 miles per hour-ish, maybe a little over. I was noticed if I miss hit my blade, it would drop to 124. Mass, there's a bigger drop. Yeah, and then whereas this, it would drop Smaller. to like 128. So it would drop it's two miles small. per hour rather than six, which mm. essentially is like eight yards. But don't look as good in the bag. It doesn't look as I'm cool. Full, I'm only joking. Well, extension user, they're all right for him. Yeah, he, he's done all right, hasn't he? Yeah, I love yeah, it. Yeah. But, but just on these, I've been peppering you for a set of these, you know. <laughs> they're so hard to get hold of, though. Like, discontinued yeah. little. Well, this is, this is a new thing for me. Like, obviously, I've been lucky enough to get given clubs. Yeah. Like all my life, you know. Well, I say all my life since I was about yeah, say, 16. Yeah, yeah, of course. First two years I didn't. But then since, you know, the next uh, 20 odd years, I've been given clubs. And, uh, you know, now, now just getting into like, you know, to be honest, like watching YouTube, consuming golf in a slightly different way. Yes. I'm going back, going through, and, and now I'm thinking, oh, I remember those clubs that I liked. And I'm thinking, I'm going on eBay. So yeah. I'm like, I'm spending my evening. So I play, I get up in the morning and I'm watching, you know, PJ Tour highlights on like, YouTube. Yeah. And I go to the, go to the club, either do coaching or hit some balls, play, then like you know maybe hit some balls out, and then come home. Then I'm on eBay in the evening, you know, trying I to find secondhand clubs and that sort of stuff. And it's and it come, as you say, like it's like loads of people around me are doing it now, where you're like, oh, I remember that club from 15 years ago that I used yeah. to use. I want to find a little set of those. Reminisce back in the day, the yeah. shots and the how easy it was yeah. to hit them shots and the little <laughs> things you just go for. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So yeah, I've actually got a few. I've got what my irons, yeah. driver. Three words and uh, my sandwich are all off eBay. Amazing. And I've been giving clubs all my life. I'm, I'm, wow, I'm happy with these clubs than I've ever yeah, been. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I love it, mate. Yeah, yeah, sweet. Yeah. Coming in. It's 150, a cold into out the right, it's middle pin, small green. 150 normally is about is an eight iron for me, but because of the wind, I'm actually going to try and cut a six iron 
get it cut onto and holding up. So let's see. Let's straight again. Go. Oh, another bunker. It's either a drilled seven for me or a buttered six. I find I hit, when I, soft shots, yeah. my timing's out of sync. I find I hit, when I, I find I play better when I just commit and hit. Yeah. Do you get what I mean? I know you've got to control ball flight, yeah. but where are... It's almost easier to time it because everything turns up at the same time. Yeah, and if I'm not messing around down, with my speeds. If you slow it down, yeah. your arms might slow down, but your body might not have slowed or something like that. So with this, I'm just zipping a seven in there. Ah, wow, Jimbo. Around the corner. Wild. Around the corner. I am under it. Missed that left, just got on the wind. That's what happens when I try and compress it, just shut it down. But tough shot, flop shot, grass into. Come on, JB. Make sure I get it over that bunker. Playing some. Playing some, by the way. <laughs> oh, no. Right, he's staying with me. Come on, JB. Don't capitulate in the first 1v1. <laughs> I, I tell you what, I picked a good one, didn't I? Oh. All right, so. I want to carry this for eight or ten yards. One good little thing to notice about this sand is it's like almost a bit muddy and compact. So it's not too much sand in there, which means you can actually hit down, be a bit steep, hit down a bit more, because the club won't bury as much. When it's dry in the summer, and there's more sand, you hit down too much, it buries. And you have to like, almost in the summer, hit your sand shot softer. But this one, I can hit down this, hit it quite hard, and it shouldn't dig. Yeah, turned out right. Sharp. There we go. Need this to put a bit of pressure on the boy. Lovely roll. Cheers, mate. Very, very good. Oh, wiggle pass. One up, Zane, Scotland still. Ah, oh dear. Mmm. Ah, oh dear. All right, Zane, one up, third hole. Still one. What have we got here? It's tricky, isn't it? Right to left dog leg. Yeah. But wind's out of the left. So the advice is to go tight to the left hand trees. Yeah, 230 tech tree stump. Yeah. You didn't drive it, yeah? Yeah. Uh, talk to me about this. You pegged it down, I see. Pegged it down What's a little thinking? bit. So I just, I just strike the ball a bit high in the face. What, when you Naturally. peg it down? No, like normally. Right, okay. So, so I could try and change my golf swing yes. and try and, you know, hit up all that sort of stuff. The other thing you can do is just hit down. Feel like you've got more control when you peg it down? Yeah, a little bit, yeah. Okay. Sit down a bit. Yeah. Shop! Okay. Jimmy, Jimmy. Scoot under. <laughs> Spell it out. Get on this hook then. Captain. <laughs> I've got, what do you got in there? Hook that round. Yeah, let me there. get you a that, that number. That is some hook, Zane. Zane's reeled me in here. Yeah. He's like, trying to hook one round the trees. Right. It's a 60 yeah, yard it. wanger. It's only 130. But I think if you just get one turning, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm trying like, to get inside that right hand bunker. I'm at an eight iron. Just turn it down massively. Come on, he's, he's really, on the third hole, he's reeling me in. You got this. I know you yeah, tuned yeah, what, into this. When, when we grew up, Nick Fowler used to help us out. And he used to say, hook it into trouble, hook it out of trouble. This is, is, this, this is your moment. <laughs> Come in, JP. Mate, that is so good. Oh my God. Uh, Did it catch it? I, I think so. No. I think so. <laughs> no, get a shot tracer on her. 100 yards, back into the breeze. It looks like a back pin. 
So I'm actually just got, got my nine iron. What you got there? A little nine iron. What yard did you got? So chip it, 100 yards. Right, so okay. So chip it and see, see the, the tree line? Yes. So I'm trying to keep it below the tree line just okay. to not have to deal with the wind. Beautiful control. Get up. There you go. Golf shot. Get on that. <laughs> Oh my god! What a <laughs> shot! Ah, oh, it's a fox! <laughs> <laughs> it just be near a point of relief. That's unbelievable! How unlucky is that? Um, oh go on, Zane, talk to me. Where do I go? Just nearest. Nearest point of relief. So, what, the ball was what there? Yeah. So that's going to be uh, you could argue away from these are here, and then drop it within one club length. Okay. Yeah, nice shot. Well played. Oh, you're joking. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You are joking you're me. A little chance, that. Uh. What's a half that was? Weren't it, eh? Ah, uh, what's a half? What a dream par! Trees, rabbit hole, par! <laughs> <laughs> right, we've just played one, two, three. We've jumped across because they're doing a little... There's a lot of mowers out in yeah, there. Yeah. Basically, we couldn't get it on the sand. So, yeah. we're going to jump on seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve to finish, all right? Yeah, boss. So this is seven. Six, well, up. One in it still. Yeah, you're one up. All right, so 360, five, par four, dog leg left to right. You could take it on and go big deal for the driver, but it's a bit cold for that. It's not really, that's not really how you play winter golf. It's tight as well, isn't it? So we're going to go across the corner of the trees, four iron, like a 195, 205 shot we've been told is the play. A bit of breeze out of the left, Jim. Yeah, it wasn't a great strike, but I think it'll be okay. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, nice. Perfect, that is. Yeah. Absolutely perfect. Beautiful. That's better. Come on, JB. Come on, then. Tiger Woods story. Tiger Woods story. I've bumped into him a couple of times, but tell me about the first time when you, when you see him as a kid. I've not told you this before. You have. We've brushed against it, but you haven't. I, I want it. I want it. You want it again? I want it again. for them. All right, so when I was 14, yeah. uh, when a Sky Sports put on a, a competition, if you won, you got tickets, two tickets to the Ryder How Cup. did you win the comp? What was it? It was, uh, it was actually, it was Britain's search to find Tiger Woods. Right, okay. And so they invited a bunch awesome. of, a bunch yeah, of kids yeah, yeah. from you know, different uh, ethnic minority backgrounds. And we went down on a day with you and Murray and it was yeah, 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 yeah. Anyway, so I won that. And so I got two tickets to the Ryder Cup. So obviously I took my dad, dad and I buzzing, go to the Valderrama Ryder Cup in 1997. Yeah. And, uh, flying all excited to get there. We get to the course and I'm like, got to find Tiger. I'm not interested in any, uh, anyone else. So we get there and I'm not interested in my dad getting a coffee. Not interested in these, these guys on the range or whatever. Absolutely. Where's Tiger? Where is he? He's on the furthest point out on the course. Don't care. That's all, that's all I could think about. So we trek all the way out on the course, get out there. And you, just, you know where he is, you see the big old crowds. Yeah. And, it was, and so forth. So I could see him up on the right, and I was like, right, I'm going to get on the next tee, because I want to. I just want to see Tiger Woods hit, hit a tee. Is your front line? So I'm like, get there early. You know, I'm a bit smaller, so I'm, I'm getting there right, right down the line, yeah, yeah. where he's going to be, on the floor waiting for. He comes yeah. over, and obviously he comes onto the tee, and then it's like, right, he's here, he's here. It's all the bits that like, you know, it's ten skills to ride a cup. There's Tiger as well. And I've got like the perfect spot. So I'm there, and he just out comes like the bladed two iron. Awesome. He's thinking, like my heart's going, I'm thinking, this is it. He's going to he's gonna the stinger, because like, Valderrama's quite tight, he's going to the stinger down there. So he gets there, he does his little waggles, and he just start, takes it back, and he just duff hooks it into the tree. <laughs> <laughs> and he jumped off the tree. Imagine being a 50-year-old, looking at your dad going, 
I'm not sure about <laughs> yeah. it at the minute. That's so funny. I can't so believe it. So you built it all up and he's flab drawn it into the trees. Oh no. Oh yeah, a little duff hook. Did you did you carry on following him round? Yeah. Actually no, we actually oh, waited for Fred Couples. He was the next group, so oh, we waited for Freddie. No, he's one of my favorites. And he was the business. No yeah. brother Fred. Yeah. Just like and up a, rip. Another little story about Fred, Freddie Couples, right? So sure. he's in he's hit the three woods, says par five. So par five goes this way. And we're, we're in the gallery like this, and he's there. And he's like, like tell us to move back. So we yeah. move back, yeah, fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then there's a photographer. The photographer's literally like this, like this, not moving. And, the, and, he, and Freddie's like, he's like, move back. And the photographer's like, no, no, it's fine. And you know what Freddie's like, so chilled, he's like, he's like all, right. all right. Literally shrugged his shoulders, and he just hits this three wood, just rips it. And it just goes, it must miss a photographer by about this much. It just goes like, Takes his wig off. And was like, <laughs> he's like, really? Freddie, as he walked past, Freddie just went, I did say so. Really? He's just so cool, isn't he? He's so chill, yeah. Just, he, yeah. just struts, Freddie, didn't legend. he? Legend. Stitches his legend. shirt up, no yeah. glove, oh, I love it. Yeah, legend. 159. A little bit down out of the left. 7 on normally. Normal conditions, flies about 167. Rolls at 170, so I reckon, because it's a bit colder, I was going to take a bit off it, so. Nice full normal seven iron. Pushed it a bit. Up, get up. Oh, a bit short. A bit short. I'm just going to poke a nine iron in now. Come on, JB. I've got half a chance here. Get a close here. A little bit. Yeah, good shot. Very nice. It's all right. It's all right. It gives me half a chance, ain't he, boy? Do you? Right, time to make a putt here, Jim. Oh, yo, 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 George, take it oh. away. Good putt. Right on line, right on line. It was never in though, was it? It was never there as soon as I hit it, you know, when you know. Yeah. Still one, mate. Still one. Right, lovelies, as always, please like, subscribe, comment down below. Tell me what you want next, all right? Tubes is up there, I'm left to ashes. Please subscribe. Tell me what you want next, massively important. Anything you want. Zaney, boy, talk to me. Eight pole. That wind, We're into out the left. Yeah. Par five. I think it's going to be two big hits today. I guess the first thing you want to do is get the ball in play. So I'm actually not going to try and give it the big one. I'm just going to try and hit actually a, a little low fade, pretty much where Tubes is now, and get this thing in play. So I'll tear it down a little bit again. Grip down a touch. Do you, well, okay then, because I've, I've, I've seen you, every, every drive you peg down. Yeah. When do you peg her up? Or do you peg her up? Yeah, I do. But like these, these holes have been quite tight, haven't they? Yeah, yeah, okay. Been quite tight, but yeah, positional yeah, yeah. shots. You know how you play around the golf? And really, it's probably only four times, I would say. I'll, I can have four times I'll probably hit good ones. There'll be one, maybe two, where I'd really go after one. Yeah. And the rest of it is just like, just put it in play. Okay. So majority of the shots are just position. I like it. Cut a little bit, but I think that'd be all right. Cut the right. Yeah. Yeah, you're good. Shot, mate. Thank you. Nice. Really good. Cheers, mate. Really good, that one. Bosh. Yeah. Good hit that. Spinny. It's a bit short. Chop. Cheers, mate. It's up there. All right, so we just saw Jimmy's there. You, you hit that well, didn't you, Jimmy? Yeah, it's, it's 10 short, stalled. though. So, as you say, it's playing long up there, isn't it? I think Even it's almost wind. 30 yards longer. Yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah. Okay, 218, so plus 30, near 250. Pins, pins red, which means on the front. I mean, from this far out, I'm not even looking at the pin. You've got to think about trying to get on the green, really. So I'm going to try, I'm going to try and do what I did in the tee shot, hit a low fade, try and keep it under the wind a little bit. Ball's a bit on the down slope.
up on that little rocket, innit? Go. Go. Oh, yo, 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 just nibbled in the front edge, weren't it? Uh, Unlucky. Zane, what did you just say on that I've line? I've had to have a little wonder over this. <laughs> this. This is literally the epitome of a winter lie, where it's like in the rough, but on the mud. Right, detail. Detail, go on. Is there a couple of ways you can play that? And what's going through your head when you see a lie yeah. like that? Well, the, the first thing I would say is like, right, try and play a shot which just carries here and has a little bit of spin, like just get that out of your head. Like, okay. something within 10 feet is going to be good here. Yeah. So you got, because it's going to, you're trying to avoid the first thing you're trying to do is avoid the disaster. Yes. If you can which give is, yourself a 10. Which is, which is flood, yeah. or just flood the, it, yeah. The little comb over. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> so if you can give yourself a putt from inside 10 feet, then you've got a chance. That's the done. first thing. Yeah. So, I mean, one way you can do, you can play the duff. Yeah. So like, almost like a bunker shot. Is like that, that way, don't like that. No. Do you know where I see it? The other way you could do it. Go I on. think, you know, like we, everyone, talk, everyone talk about bounce. Up, yeah. Actually, no, you take less loft. Yes. And when you open it, the bottom edge, you can see that, right? So as I open it, that bottom edge will get lower and lower and lower. So you almost, you take, you take less loft, open it more, because that little bottom edge will make, mean that when it hits the ground, the club won't dig in as much, it'll glide you. through. Right, okay. I All would right. land the club an inch behind the ball. Would you? Yeah, in behind the ball. See, so open it up and keep it moving. So different. I, I just on, don't you see do? that. I, I, all I'm concentrating on is real ball first. Yep. Really right. like so back pegging it and make sure it that ball first. I don't want to catch that anywhere near fat. That's in my head. So that that will go a bit lower and just yeah, run a bit further past. Absolutely. Okay, yeah. But I'm also. In my head, and this is detailed, I'm thinking of pitching her anywhere here. So I'm giving myself quite a large yeah. over the rubbish and anywhere here. Do you get what I mean? And yeah, once it yeah. trickles out, it'll do the magic, whatever it's got to do. Yeah. So I'm taking anywhere five foot left. All right. Safe it's come, shot. Yeah. It's come out fiery, isn't but, it? But that's what we're saying. You've got a putt for it. Yeah. I think I might need to change my golf ball because it keeps finding the sand. But anyway, pretty straightforward shot, low lip. Not going to have to worry about there. A bit like the other one, really. There's not much sand here, so I can hit down this quite hard to try and get the club underneath the ball. Then we pop out. Bury my feet a bit. There you go, it's like that. Oh, anyway, pick her up. Yeah, nice. Yep. Couldn't give you that on winter green, boy. <sighs> Two up, Zane Scotland. Right, here we are on the ninth, par 376 yards. While we're on the ninth, iron play. Okay. Now, I know you've been working on a bit. Yeah. I just want to give you... Give I want you to give us a bit of detail about right. what you've been working on. How, how, how in-depth golf pervy can I go on? Like, this? you know what I'm like. Yeah. Feelings. All right. Um, what you, whatever detail you need to give us. So double perv. All right. Okay. Okay. All right. I'm trying to do a bit of both ends. So, what I'm working on. My, my, my fault is kind of been my fault forever. You know, same with it? most golfers. So, like, my thing that I hate when I look at my golf swing is my forearms. My right, my right crosses my left. Too quickly. Is that in the game known as a flip? I would say, I would say it's a bit... Or over rotation? So in the coaching world, you say it, the overtaking rate is too fast. Okay, yeah, yeah. So, so I what I want to do, I want to slow down the overtaking rate yes. of the golf club, because my shot is in a pull draw. So I start, like I go like this, it's a bit left. Yes. That was like the pull draw. Got you. So if you were to go into some detail, there's something, there's this mad book called The Golfing Machine, which is like, it's like the Bible of golf it. technique. It's yellow. Front page almost yeah. looks Bible-y, yeah. doesn't it? I would say, if you ever get an opportunity to read it, don't. <laughs> it really, I thought it you were going to say, come by. <laughs> no, right, it, okay. really it just messes you now. But there's, 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 there's like four power accumulators. 
Okay. Right, so we go a bit deep here. But my, so for me, my power accumulator number three takes over too quickly. Got you. So, which is basically that. Yes. I'll do that too quick. Yeah. So my feel is that back of the glove or the watch on the way down is pointing to the sky the whole way around. You trying to? That's what you're trying to feel. That's what when I'm you're trying, trying to, to feel. fix it. Yeah, exactly. Got you. Okay. I'm trying. I'm trying to do this because my watch goes at the floor. Gotcha. Too quick. Yeah. So it feels like I'm doing nothing. Does that feel like a hold shot to you, though? Look, that's got to feel cutty. Yeah. And right. Well, that's, that's the thing, right? It feels cutty, but it draws, which wow. is like that's and that's the difficulty of golf, isn't it? And massively. And the difference between you talk about feels and reels. Yeah. The difference between you actually doing that, it ain't obviously doing that, is oh, it? Yeah. But it's just slowing it down a fraction. Me, me feeling like I got that watch to the sky. Yes. In reality, it's it's pointing the target. Got you. That's where it is. But you just like the feel of that. Yeah. Okay. I just don't like so the feel. I just don't like the feel, but I know that's what I have to do to hit it. So, I got it. Sure. so that's all you've been working on with your iron play, yeah? Pretty much. Fundamentals yeah. right, and then that feeling. Pretty much. So the, the one little detail to it is, is when you come down, you think, right, so this is going to be facing, I'm going to feel like this is facing out. The temptation, what I do, yeah, so, so that club face, right? At this point, it's pointing way to the right. Yeah. So I've got, I've got two options. My normal option is to start rolling this early. Gotcha. To square it. Now what, what I've got to do is actually turn this. Got you. To square it. Okay. So Bigger yeah. muscles fixing it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I love it. Right. Let's see okay, if I can do then. it now. Coming in. Right, routine. See my shot. I'm gonna do a little little draw here, Jim. Tiny little draw. See it. Feel quite, it in the practice swing. Quite a nice feeling that. It's like a whole draw then, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. Go a little bit. It's a bit heavy. Ah, oh, it's a touch heavy. Touch heavy. I, that was, I didn't turn enough onto that one. What are your what feels? Did, did you dink it? A little bit, yeah. Yeah, so me, do you know what? I always like seeing my shot start left. Yeah. When I can start it easy left, I feel like I've got more control. Mine's just a whole shot. I, do you know what? Unless I bad strike it, it turns a lot, obviously, but mine's pretty neutral. Yeah. I don't try yeah. and do a lot with it. I, yeah. I move the ball up just so it's easier to start it left. Yeah. Um, I do play it quite forward. So you do most. little right, right, right foot back practice swings? Yeah, I do that. And then obviously my, my bad shot is leaving it right. So I'm late. I'm very yeah. handle leady. Yeah. And then James Eve, good friend yeah. of ours, yeah. he told me an amazing little thing that I've given before is let it go. Yeah, yeah. Don't be scared to yeah. let it go. Do you know what I mean? So yeah. simple. The more I feel like I let it go, the better my strike becomes. I gain yeah. a bit more power, yeah. a bit more speed, obviously, because yeah. I'm not holding it. And yeah. And how funny is that, right? So I, I prefer to see the ball start right. Yeah. So I'm doing the opposite. I feel like I'm holding it forever. That's right. It's amazing and how you said if you that. Like, like less, it is total opposite. Yeah. Um, even though, don't get me wrong, I'm not that good. Some does start right, do you get what I mean? But I do love seeing the ball start left and me sort of holding yeah. it. I feel like when I'm inside it and I'm trying to draw it, it can get 20 yard draw or one yeah. yard draw. I've yeah. got more control if I feel like it's holding. But 100%, just let it go. That's my, um, yeah. whenever, I, whenever I'm under the gun, I hold. I hold yeah. it. And I, yeah, yeah, I don't like it. Mate. That's good. That? That, yeah, if you heard the clang, is that a railway track there? That's in someone's house. That, how far has that gone? I've just got it on the wind and just... Mate, that's gone about 200 yards. Right, Richie. Got my ball over there. Can't believe I just airmailed the green. Got a drop. He's knocked it on front edge. Got to give him the, got to give him the hole, unfortunately. Three down. How many to play? Three. three down, three to play. Right, here we go. We're on the 10th, as I said. Three down, three to play. I've got to say, I've gone massive balls early. My first 1v1, I've picked Zane Scotland with no shots. Um, but anyway, that's the game. Away you go, son. We're on the 10th hole, yeah? Straight away, longest puff uphill. uphill. It's a tough hole, this Zane, isn't it? Into the breeze. Yeah, Ball blind shot. You tap into your nice driving display you've been putting on. I've drove it well, haven't yeah, I? I have. Just not been there in the other part of my game, not there. Oh dear. Mm. That's right. The door is open, mate. I'm sure Choose is going to find that one. Yeah, very good. 
Brave, weren't it? Nice. Like it. We found her. Right. I just want the camera, just before we make a decision, just pan around, look at the gap we're going to get him to go through. There's a little gap, come here, come here, come here, just over our shoulders, that little gap there. Zane, that would you? That one there. Did you not like that? I was no? going to go through this one here. Are you joking? Go left, yeah. What, that one there and a little cut? Okay, I'll go low draw. No, no, no. No, I'll go no. low draw. Or, or you're pitching out. Because, no. that, that, listen, well, I know if... you free up. I know you free up. Yeah. I'm not dead yet. Yeah, are um, you, what are you making for over there? Not much dropping shot here. I'll make, make par. Okay, any other so situation, I, I wouldn't be going for this. Okay. But as this is the big game against you. They want to see some magic. You've got to it? like, sometimes you just got to go Come for it. Come on, big cheese. <laughs> Come on, big cheese. Great lie as well. <laughs> really good lie, you know, a little bit of, a few loose, in, a few loose impediments just <laughs> dropping around. That made a big difference. It's getting it? worse to leave. <laughs> <laughs> more he moves, the more's coming in. <laughs> oh dear. Right. Do you feel safe? Uh, do you know what? You I was safe? just thinking that. No, I don't. I'm behind here. Right. <laughs> right, this, I'm giving this a proper rip, this. Richie. Do you want to get down the line? <laughs> just in case. Get down the line a bit, Richie. Get down the line a bit. This would be, be mint. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh! <laughs> Where'd it go? I oh, left. It's, it's all right. He's, 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 he's played uh, out. He's played right. out. See the nice little bit of yellow. Little bit, of tree, little bit of tree action that's had there. Right, need to put this one within makeable distance to put the pressure on Jim. 130, probably playing just under 140. Knock down eight iron. Beautiful. Go a little bit. Be Go a little boat. bit. Get up, get up, get up. Oh, okay. Straight down it, mate. If you've heard the shout Zoomy Pat, right? That shout Zoomy Pat is tubes on camera, basically. So Zoomy Pat is tubes getting the close ups on camera. Just so you know. Nice. Get down. Yeah, you love a shot. It's aggressive, like won't it? it? I like it. Yeah. Positive. Pitch it right back there. Yeah. There's something about when you pitch it at a back pin, you pitch it right on the back. Yeah. You feel like a bit of a player, Yeah, yeah, you? of course you do, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. In the air, you're thinking, oh no, sit, sit, yeah, sit, sit, sit. When it's there, it's like, yes. Yeah, of course. Aggressive. Yeah, Meant of course it. that's what we do. Meant it. See, this is where aim point sometimes stifles me. Go on. I'm looking for something, but nothing's there. Then you know what the answer is. It's straight. It's straight, yeah. Trust it. Do yeah. you get what I mean? Yeah. And then you go hunting again, and then you go hunting <laughs> again. It's like, no, it's good, Jimbo. Yeah. That's straight. Got to go. Oh, mate. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. How many jaws we had today? A few of those. All right, Zane, for the match. Oh, stayed right. Mmm. Stayed right. Wanted it, though, didn't he? He did want it. We ain't just here to create content, he's here to win the boy. Two up, two to play. I won that last one. He did win that last one. He did win that last one. Par four. Yes. 260 to reach the green. You'd be going for this normally, surely, wouldn't you? Yeah, well, or I'll not? Doubt, I'll doubt today because it's soft. Okay. I probably would, yes. If it was bouncy, it might bounce into the trouble. You chafe it at all. Yeah, gotcha. Right, soft today, and cool. I've got a two up lead, so I'm going for it. And whatever. I ain't got an answer yet, because what if you... you you're, you're on the um, tee, aren't you? No. Oh. It's you to go. Oh, no, yeah, I've misread that. Yeah. I'll see what you've done there. <laughs> I'll see what you've done there. Yeah. Me? I'm going for it, just so you know. You probably don't mess about. I've hit the club well, so let's go. <laughs> yeah, I'm pegging her. Pretty good. Just off the left, I reckon. Oh. oh that's unlucky. What's cool that? Cool tree. Cool tree, didn't it? Wasn't that far left, was it? No, it must be overhanging branches. Didn't look bad, did it? No. Lovely slap, wasn't it? Right, even though I should not go for this now, I'm still going to go for it. <laughs> right up. Tubes that, innit? Zoomy Pat, love it. Right on him. 
<laughs> it's nice, good position. Did we see mine bounce out? I didn't see it bounce out. I can't believe it's hit something hard. Should I hit another one? Yeah, hit another one. I think he just clipped the tree on the way down. Wind. Yeah, so. Oh! Yeah, just short of him. Good spot. Right, Zane, I want to talk to you about where it first started for you and the mental side of the game, because I remember when you started coming through the ranks as a young kid, you know, especially when you're at your teens, mm. you was probably the next best thing to come out of here, weren't you? You know, you was posted as the next massive star. How did you deal with that as a kid? Um, well, when I was, I qualified for the Open when I was 16. That's a and super that kind young of, zone, isn't it? Yeah, it is. I started golf when I was 11. Yeah. Got a complete golf bug with my dad. And so within five years, I was like playing in the Open Championship. Yeah. But like, because I, mean, I was young, I just thought that's what you're supposed to do. You know what I mean? You just think, oh, you get onto the driving range, got onto the driving range at the Open and Darren Clark was there, Greg Norman was there. And I was thinking, I watched them on television and I just thought this is what you're supposed to do. Yeah. You don't necessarily realise that like, oh, I'm not supposed, to, it's not normal to be here this early. Did you feel any fear back then? Not really. No, I got nervous, I'm nervous, but I wasn't, there was no, I didn't think, I didn't fear about anything going bad. Kind of had no expectations. Yeah. And then, then I played for about three or four more years as an amateur. And I guess in that time, it, that's when expectation starts to creep in. Because when you're like not on the radar and you do something great, it builds your confidence. And then all of a sudden, then now you're expected to be like that. So every time you do something what, which would have previously been great, yeah. it's like, oh, you're supposed to do that because you're good. Yeah. And they cut that, and then and I was okay to about up to when I turned pro. And then as I turned pro, you do start to feel the pressure then. What age was that? So I turned pro at like 20. Right, quite late then. Yeah, quite, I, I did hang on for quite a while. Right. Past that point. Um, I decided not to go to college in the States. And I thought I would just I'll wait. I played play for England as an amateur, yeah. turned pro at the right time, did all that stuff. And, uh, but un annoyingly, I had a car crash just before I turned pro. And I just, oh, and yeah. I, so I had that kind of, was hampered by injury for the first few years of being a professional golfer. So, and that's, and that's another part I hadn't dealt with that before. No. You know, because up to then it's all, you know, you're feeling good, it's all single dancing, nothing, you know, nothing ever gone wrong. So then in that time, you start to think, when you do come back, you don't play quite as well. But in hindsight, it's actually your body's not working quite as well. And then it just, for me, just like, it clicked in after about four years, when I started to feel good again, it clicked in and I, and I got an invite, I, I qualified for the French Open and didn't have a card anywhere and did well. And then I, I did well and then I did well in the French Open and then I got invite after invite and got my card in like six starts. Right, okay. out, out of nowhere really. So was you um, seeing sports like then? Or, or, have yeah. you been big into that or have you done it all yourself? Or, how's really, it gone for you? It was really from my, my dad was the main person. He's been strong for you, isn't he? Dad, yeah, yeah. He's, he's like a real positive character and he's like all about the mental side of things. Right, you know, because okay. he was like, you know, uh, he was, my dad's side of the family, one of the first kind of black families in Walthamstow, you yeah. know, back in the 60s. And so there was like a real mentality of like, you got to like, it's like a bit of a bully or be bullied. You got to yes, like take yes, on yes. that. And he had taken that like, just going to bolster through stuff. Yeah. And he always tried to put that onto me. And so like, he almost wanted a bit of controversy to yeah. like, be like, right, I'm up for this now. Yeah, I'll I'm get going to do it yeah, sort yeah, of yeah. thing. And you know, you, you've, met, you've met with that, that's just kind yeah, of the way he is. And that yeah. comes through. And then yes, I had sports psychologists, but really the, 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 the mentality of like, when I used to play football when I was a kid, you know, I wasn't allowed to swear or anything like that, but that was one time my dad would say, right, it would take me, before I run on, take yeah. me to the side, what are you going to do today? And I'd be like, uh, he goes, you're going to kick ass. I'm right, yeah, I'm going to kick ass. And he'd be like, come on, what are you going to do? You're going to kick ass, right? Yeah, I'm going to kick ass. And that was like, that, that mentality had always, yes taking me through because you get all this like because you have that mentality in golf yes and then I had that early okay had, I had that early I had, I had that bit of ego and that's what carried me through and then some somewhere in your adult life you get told that ego having ego is bad and you should be nicer and so forth and yeah, you should be nice but I think while doing your sport it's okay to have that bit of needle but it's not like that in golf everyone's nice to each other and everyone's yeah. you know you should like a, psycho, a golf psychologist a lot of them to me were always like just visualize the shot yeah. It's like really. It's like no, nah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna rip this one down there. I'm gonna show these guys who's boss. Yeah. That's that's what makes you a better it's player. Ma it's massively interesting to me, you know, not to put you in his category, but it's a similar upbringing to Tiger, isn't it? In a weird way. Do you get what I mean? Yeah. He's close to his dad. He had the same ethnic background. Yeah. You know, coming into the game, you know, yeah. and all right, he's gone to do what he does. But you must. 
There's a uniqueness because you're thinking, there I feel different to everyone else. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, we're, yeah. We're, we're different. And actually, yeah, it turned into a positive, positive yeah, yeah, yeah. if I'm really honest, not necessarily a negative. And there is that sort of thing, obviously, uh, careers are taking a slightly different path. <laughs> No, but, absolutely. But yeah. now, do you, do you work on that with the players or not so much? If they want that, do you, are you there from their mental side? Interestingly enough, that is the that is the one thing that I can like actually impress onto them more than when I started coaching. I thought it's all about goal swing. I'll get the goal swing right. Yeah. But you know what? The, both normally they're pretty good, and yet and the goal swing is actually the easy part. The other part is like saying like you know what? Forget everyone else. Forget what you should do. This is how you do it. Yeah. And you're allowed to take that attitude. And you know what? You're here to beat people. Because yeah. in golf, it's not really, it's almost a bit frowned upon, especially yeah, in, in the UK. Yes. It's like, you're out to beat people. I love it. Don't, don't care what I've got to do, I'm just going to get past you. It's a, sometimes it's a bit like, oh, I'm, I'm going to have my best game and you have your best game and let's have a nice yeah, jolly little yeah. outing. No. It's like, no, the guy, people that win go like, game. no, yeah, I'm yeah, yeah. To, we'll be friends afterwards. Absolutely. Yeah. And is there any players here that you've been looking after you've got, that you're looking forward to watch and achieve in sight? Is there any names that we should look out for? There's a few. Uh, that, well, I don't work with him as much now, but Todd Clements. Yeah. You, you would have come yeah, across Ted. Yeah, absolutely. Yep. Todd and Ted. Who's Ted? Uh, Ted Todd. Clements. Great player. <laughs> Todd, great player. Yeah, much better than Todd. Yeah, he's, he's good, does all the right things. He's got a good attitude. Yeah, nice. Yeah, works hard. Okay. Good guy. We'll watch um, out for him. And then there's another uh, young female golfer I started working with, Lily Mae Humphreys. Right, OK. Plus eight when she was wow. an amateur. Uh, she's got a card on the LET now. Yeah. She's 20 years old, and you know you just look at somebody, you just think, wherever it is, she's got it. Yeah, I got you. She knows how to win, and and she's got that like there's that simplicity of like, I can do that. Right. There's no, okay. no, no, no doubt in there. You just it's hard to really knuckle down what it is, but you think yeah. I What's really she playing on at the minute. So she's playing the LET. Oh, I keep my name out. Yeah, keep, I try and get keep her on a lookout. Yeah, yeah, honestly, absolutely. like I, I truly believe that if she applies herself, she could be really? a major champion. Yeah. Love it, mate. Fantastic, yeah. cheers. Right, I'm clutching a little bit here, guys. But it's the game, you never know. I've got to chip this in for par. Couldn't find my first one, unfortunately. I pulled it left, it's hit a big tree. Weren't that bad though, Zane, was it? It was uh, unlucky, it's that. right up here. It's hit a tree, it could have gone anywhere, but OB. So, I need to chip this in to keep the game alive. I've done it before. Let's see what I've got here. I can't believe I'm actually carrying on here, but. Do it. Great, oh. shot, <laughs> Great shot. It weren't bad though. Right, that's it, Zane. Go on. I'll give you it. Thank you so much. There you go, Zane Scotland, everyone. You beat the Bulldog on the first 1v1. Yeah. Um, did you enjoy it? I did enjoy it a lot, mate. Obviously, uh, nice to get the win, but more so just come and hang out, get out on the golf course, get out on the track. You're a lovely man. Any good. Um, if anyone wants any coaching down here, how can we get in touch with you? Yeah, so um, come to my Instagram, yep. at Zane Scotland Golf. Uh, come down to Leatherhead. We're going to be opening up properly in April. We're going to have a bit of a soft opening nice. in March. Keep so your eye for that. That'd be blinding. That. Yeah, There'll that's... be a few players down here for yeah, that. It's gonna, it is going to be really special down here. And online coaching? I also do online coaching. So yeah, so if you go to my Instagram, there's a yep. link in my bio. And yeah, I do online coaching, which is a bit of a new age thing, really, where you yep, can nice. just like t send a video of down the line, face on come through to me, I'll give you feedback on your swing on the video, and then I'll also do a piece of camera talking about what, we'll get, what you should work on. Nice. Yeah, and get you ripping it. Get involved, he knows what he's on about. The boy, I've been around him a long time, and we are gonna leave a link down below, so click if you wanna get involved with this man. Zane, thoroughly enjoyed Sorry, it. Man. Sorry I didn't have the best, but there you go.